This is a flick through review of Python for Data Analysis by Wes McKinney. Now, Wes McKinney is the man who wrote um, Pandas, the Python library, or he was the, the main contributor to that. Um, so if you're going to learn uh, Pandas, which is the data analysis module for Python, then um, you couldn't really have a better teacher. Uh, this book also covers NumPy and IPython. IPython is um, a Python interface and it is superb. This book covers it very well. And NumPy is a maths module for Python. Uh, for, or a maths library for Python, and um, it is really, really good. It's a bit like MATLAB, but it gives uh, matrix and vector functionality to Python. Um, this book covers them all. It also covers the basics of Python. So if you're interested in data analysis uh, and, and doing it with Python and you haven't learnt any Python yet, you could probably do it all from this book. If we go to the back of this book, um, we'll see the P Python language essentials. Now here, the author covers pretty much everything you need to know um, about uh, Python in order then to be able to use IPython, NumPy and Pandas uh, and to, you know, to, um, to get uh, the, the functionality from the data analysis that you want. So, you know, it's, it's possible that you could, you know, this could be the one book that you need. Let's have a look at the uh, at the index, um, the contents of this book. The preliminaries, it's how to set up Python on your computer, uh, covers Python 2 and Python 3. There are a few introductory examples, and then we really get on to the meaty stuff. IPython. This is um, all about IPython, how to set it up and what it can do. Worth taking some time to cover that chapter. It then goes on to NumPy, Basics. Uh, again, this is a very, very useful chapter. I learned all about NumPy from going through this chapter, uh, and I, I, I found it extremely useful. Also useful is the, the, the other chapter on Advanced NumPy, which we'll come to shortly. Getting started with pandas. Um, if you're going to do pandas, data frames are really important. This chapter gives you a lot of... Um, uh, a lot of uh, experience using that and a lot of practice using that. The great thing about Pandas as well, the other great thing is all the um, all the data types that it can use and, uh, and the file types. Uh, and here we talk about this in Chapter 6 a little. Um, and then, you know, how to clean your data and merge data and, and, and fill in missing data. You know, Pandas can do all that really easily. And this takes you through that. Um, plotting and visualization. Often if I'm going through data and I want to do a quick plot, I will use Pandas to do it because it just does it so nicely. Um, you know, you can take your data from, you know, a format that you've collected. It might be Excel. It might be a CSV file. Uh, you can convert it into a data frame and you can plot it and look at it very, very quickly using Pandas. Excellent chapter there. Uh, and then we cover data aggregation, group operations. And then, of course, time series. Very important to cover time series. It goes into a lot of detail on time series. And then we have applications. So financial and economic data applications. And then there, here's that chapter on advanced NumPy, which is so useful. So let's have a quick look, shall we, uh, through the book and take a, a typical chapter and see uh, and see how it works. So if we go um, here... Plotting and visualization. So this is quite typical of how the chapters go. So you have a little introduction, um, and here we can see what we will be plotting, um, and uh, it takes you through some of the uh, instructions uh, on, you know, what the, some of the commands rather. And and here we have the IPython interface, so you can follow through, and you can type in these commands and work through the book using IPython, and you get instant output from IPython, which is uh, one of the great things about it. And you gradually build up your, you know, your plots or whatever it is that you're doing. And um, it really goes into quite a lot of detail. And these are very handy. So these gives you all of the arguments that you're likely to need when you're using this particular, um, you know, when you're using these particular commands. Um, and, you know, and so it goes on. We have, um, data, you know, the data visualization chapter is very good. Um, it's of the same sort of high standard as the other ones. I really like this book and it was really, really helpful to me. I hope that gives you some kind of insight into what it can do. That's the back cover. If this uh, review has been helpful to you, then uh, please like the video on YouTube, subscribe to the channel. 
and uh, I will see you next time.